Hello and welcome to Final Four Freaks. I'm Matthew here with Mike. Hello. And How are you, dude? I'm not too bad, you. A bit bored out of my mind, as you know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally understand. You know, this is the, um, you know, hard time that we're living in and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but, exactly. This is good for distractions. Yeah, so we've decided to try something different, basically. Yes, this is not looking like Dragon Ball, which we normally put up. No. What game is um, this? Uh, Diablo 3. So it's a bit of my fault, basically, for <laughs> uh, getting Matt into this. Um, it's a good I told game. Him that I, yeah, I've, I've been playing it for a while, and... Uh, been really enjoying it and since it became on offer and there wasn't really much to do I told Matt about it, told him what he could do and everything and he was like oh okay and now I've created a monster um, <laughs> quite, quite literally with wings yeah. and all yes um, he has wings yeah. she has wings should uh, I say I believe I can fly very demonic <laughs> wings on my yeah. well the demonic wings and all the bone wings fit quite well because yeah. I've got an necromancer you, you, yeah you don't actually gain flight spoilers no, it's a shame. for everyone <laughs> um, but it's just a cosmetic but, thing which is quite yeah. nice so what we're going to try and do we're going to try and do a, a nephilim, nephilim rim uh, so um, basically nephilim rifts are uh they're like a little trial that you can do. You can only do them when you get to a, a paragon level. So then you so get the cube and everything. Yeah. So basically they're good for trying to gain experience because that's what we're trying to do for Matt. Yeah, just try and get me up to your up to your level. Yeah. Um, I'm getting there. Um, I'm yeah. 166. And also it gives some decent item drops and Matt hasn't got a lot, he's, well he's gaining a lot more, I've been giving him a lot more stuff as well and yeah. and Dan's been helping him out with necromancer sets and stuff so... Yeah, he basically you know, gave me all the pieces for the pestilence set. Yeah, as as we all do with, you know, like the, uh, the family in general, yeah. try and help each other out. And we do that yeah. with anyone really, that's part of yeah, our we do. group. Path man. Uh, yeah. Janimba players we don't help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um oh, I'm just learning yeah. all these core fancies. I'm making. Ooh, chest. But uh, you have also started a um demon hunter as well. And you've started but, a crusader. Yeah. So my my main build that I've used for a while is is the the barbarian build. I've you know really enjoyed it. You know I've played all of the games from the series. Obviously not the uh, the newest one until it gets released, which I'm super excited about. Cannot wait. And uh, I'm sure Matt as well is going to. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be agreeing with that because <laughs> this is really good. Yeah, and the other one looks. Incredible. Um, yeah. Oh, from what we've seen a, so far. I think we got a speed pile on, have we? Yeah, yeah we, we did. <laughs> I'm just basically whiz through all this now. Hopefully, people can see all the the, <laughs> the death, death and destruction. destruction. <laughs> and all my corpse lancers running around, doing extra killing. And me just picking up loot. <laughs> loot and death breath. We can't forget about that. Where the hell have you gone? No, very important. Good consumable. Ah, oh, there you are. Zoom, 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 zoom. Ooh, leveled up. Nice. Uh, you missed a chest on your way past all that. Ah, uh, be fine. Yeah, be nothing fine. really of note in there for me anyway. Ooh, failed. Something. 
More materials. More to help you more than anything. That's that's the whole. Yeah. Whole idea. If I see something that I need, then I'll pick it up, or I'll more than likely uh, destroy it more mm. than anything. That's what I do. I pick majority of stuff up just to salvage it for materials. Got level two. Yeah. We're about nearly there. Yeah. Sixty-seven percent off that. Not too bad. And me just walking around, not pressing the attack button, just letting my aura explode all the corpses to uh, homing on the next ones. It's just me just like running ahead. <laughs> yeah, then every corpse you make, nice. my aura explodes yeah. and attacks my next enemy, or close enemy. It's kind of nice. Oh, come back here, little bastard! Don't go through that. Don't go through what? Oh. It's all right. You weren't. You weren't close to me. Oh, there's. Uh, sounds like there's a treasure goblin. I can hear something. Yeah, he's here. Oh, there he is. I just destroyed it. <laughs> that was quick. It was here. Yeah. It was here. Just a regular one. I I didn't really get anything from that. Um, uh, I got a few. Uh, uh, Gels and stuff, gems. Oh, yeah. uh, is it this way? Yeah. Yes, because I've got a treasure goblin following me around due to him having the yes. puzzle ring. Yes, you have the puzzle ring. I do. I got it from the bloodstone thing. Yeah. Fender. So it's, it's, it's an alright ring to, to keep when you're trying to do stuff like this, but obviously um, I've told uh, Matt already that there's a, a secret level that you get from, uh, spoilers, destroying the uh, puzzle rings. Yeah, if I get another puzzle uh, ring I'll definitely destroy it and do the secret level. It's, de it's definitely worth it later on. But we've already but done the cow level, haven't we? Yes, we have. But <laughs> we can always do that again and show that off. We haven't done uh, the other secret level because uh, no. we haven't found a certain treasure goblin that's popped up yet. But Rift Guardians too. And there's so many enemies still around. Uh, and done. And he's gone. Hopefully, you got something out of it. Uh, I think so. But. but more importantly, it's just the experience more than anything. Yeah. You leveled up a couple of times whilst doing it, so. Which is most important. Yeah, I think so. Some, I know I've uh, leveled up once. Ooh, we found a boss yeah. over here. No, don't uh, bring me to you. Just a bit better version than a uh, normal elite, a rare elite, I would say. Yeah. I'd call them bosses because it's easier. The gold elites. Going round. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my no, corpse no, no. exploding. Oh, we haven't we haven't lost the kill streak yet. Haven't lost it. No. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep okay. going. Yeah. Need need to hit every three hundred. Yeah, there we go. Three hundred and three. Got a hell of an aura ability. And that's it. Oh, I have leveled up 169. And stop there if you want. Yeah, <laughs> go back to town because I think we're done. We can uh, completely uh, stop it there if you want. Yeah. And then we'll leave up to next time. I'll talk to Orak. There we go. And that's been our quick Nephilim run. Okay, welcome to Final Four Freaks. Again, we are back. I'm Matthew with Mike again, and we're yeah. playing Diablo 3 again. Woo. Yeah, as always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's real. So, what are we doing now? Uh, we're just going to do a quick. Um, we're going to do a great, uh, great riff run. Um, yeah. But what what I will do is I won't do the same mistake what I did with. Um, you last time is actually check what the torment level actually is 
Um, yes. So, which I did not last time, and then I just, got one shot just, at a few times because it was too high yeah, difficulty. Yeah. So, for the stuff uh, I currently had. Yeah. So, um, do it on torment eight. Ooh. I think I've done a torment nine one before, didn't we? Yeah. So yeah, torment eight will be fine. I'm not sure. It might have been seven. Well. Oh God. Okay, yeah. Yeah, should actually taking some damage. Yeah. Oh. I just need to remember to curse everything so whenever the thing that I curse takes damage, it heals me. Yeah. Well, we've got the lightning uh, Oh shit, yeah, we've got so... the lightning thing on. Yeah. yeah. And we've got all the damage that I do through the corpse lancers as well. Yeah. I've got my uh, three brothers with me, so... Oh yes, yeah, the little ghost you can just just see. Yeah. Yeah, thanks to um, part of the Immortal King set. So if you... You don't have to wear the whole set. You can just literally have the weapon and uh, I think I've got the belt on. And then basically they stay on until they die, which is great. And... Uh, Grab the pieces. And so it's a combination oh, of Paragon 170. Leveled up. Nice. And the combination with them, every time they attack, they give me fury. So. Refills my bar. Yeah, every corpse I destroy for the corpse lance also refills my essence so I can keep going. Because I've got it set as an aura. Uh, you need to go up this way. We're not trying to go for a world record or anything, we're just literally trying to do it as quick as possible. Yeah. Just, to, uh... just for you guys to show basically what we can do, what the game does. Anybody who doesn't, hasn't yeah. played it, I'm out of it, don't worry. <laughs> not making the same mistake. I'm not making again. that mistake when I got detonated by about three of them in one go. No, they're there, we're doing... Pretty well, to be fair. This is going to be fairly quick. Yeah, we've set as we got a 15-minute time limit to do it in. Yeah, well, I, well, my build is. Well, I'll explain it one really day what, what my uh, what my build is. People will probably end up guessing what my build is. Um, but it's it's a very fun build. Yeah, my necromancer is quite fun. Yours is in a work in progress, my friend. Oh, it, it is, but it's still fun to use. It's still a good. Oh god. What, yeah. what I've currently got is still good. Got the bubble pylon. The pestilence the armor set is amazing. Oh, nearly there. Kill some of these guys, and I think when you're nearly there, nearly filled. One more. There we, there we go. go. And he's gone. <laughs> and that's Ooh. how it's done. Do you actually get anything half decent from that? I think so. Got a lot of rubies, emeralds, topazes, and diamonds again. Ooh, what oh, do, one, do I want to level up though? Because that yeah, I really is... like. Oh, I got a new Building one as well. The new right. one. Uh, 35% of all damage takers and insta is instead staggered and dealt to you over three seconds. Huh. Yeah, so I love that one. for the for the people that don't know, um, when you get to Paragon level, you get the. Uh, Nephilim runs that you can do, and then you can do the, the Greater Rifts as well. And at the very end when you've completed it, you get these like special... Um, and there we go, we did uh, it in 3 minutes 18 yeah. seconds. And I actually got a level up as well. Um, 
you get these legendary gems that every time you do it, you get um, the like level yeah, ups so for the for the gems, and every really time you level them up, they get stronger. Gems. So and yeah, then, these uh, currently yeah. on screen. The one I, the new one I got is currently on screen. Uh, which one is it that you're using? <sighs> Mortarian. That's the All one right. I got from this run. Not a 40k reference in there. No, not at all. No. <laughs> not for me anyway. Maybe for you. Yeah. Um, Seems a Necron player I am. Yeah. Filth. Um, oh, Necrons are amazing. But yeah. Um, so yeah. So what does the the gem actually do? Uh, thirty-five percent of all damage taken is instead staggered and dealt to you over three point four seconds. Right. And then when it gets to rank 25, 20% 20 chance to clear all staggered damage. Nice. So it reduces damage good. and basically it helps and damage how, reduce. How many more do you need until it's 25 then? Well, I've only just got it, so it's only rank 4. All right, okay, so you've just got it. So I've so literally just picked it up then. from that run, yeah. That's the thing I'm oh, going to be cool. buffing up. Cool. Um, so yeah, so that's basically it in a nutshell. And uh, I... Couldn't remember how long that actually took us, but it didn't take us very long. Three minutes, 18. Well, there you go. Pretty quick. I also got some legendary scoundrel equipment. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, uh, the the stuff for, like, the scoundrel and, and uh, all the other, like, uh, companions that you can use. Obviously, you can't use them when you, you're online in a party and stuff, yeah. like what me and my are doing. But um, usually, you get a companion. You get the enchantress, scoundrel... Paladin. And yeah. I'm the Crusader guy. So that's it. That's, that's it. The, uh, well, that was a quick uh, run. So make sure you like, share, subscribe to us, and then come back for uh, for more. And don't forget to vote for the characters for when we start a new game. Yeah. Just and for you guys. It. Yeah. Bye. Bye.